you do deserve, especially since, my gosh, you certainly have motive. I mean, your twin sister. Okay. Um, this is me getting ready to do an exchange. I've already loaded my cassette and everything. This is just me hooking back up from me being unhooked. So, um, my hands are washed. Use my, um, sanitizer just because I just touched the computer screen and everything. Uh, everything is loaded, so I'm putting on my mask. And I am taking my catheter out of my PD belt. You can see right here. Uh, and I am going to grab a gauze pad from my cart over here with all my supplies right there. See? All my supplies from my little medical cart everything I need right there so I'm going to grab a gauze pad <clears throat> so uh, sanitize the catheter you open it up Grab the uh, pelvis. Always keep the top turned up. Don't touch the pads inside. Getting real wet. Close the L pelvis. Sit right there. Then. Pull it apart on the inside so the catheter can go down in between and sit. Two minutes. Waiting for scissor clamps to come and for scissor clamps to come to hold this and also for mm -hmm, what else? Oh, scales for my arms. Um, For my pole. So take your blue pad, which I just did, put it in your waist. Just hold it there so you don't get bleach solution all over everything. As a good measure, I just go over my hands again with sanitizer because I'm touching everything. Gotta be really clean. And so. My machine says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says my pause time has been six hours. And so I'm ready to connect again. So the screen says next. It says use a septic technique to connect blue line to yourself. Open the blue line clamp and your catheter clamp. Okay, so. I'm waiting for two minutes to be up. It should be up in another couple of seconds. So just sit here and wait. So I've already um I've already done my weight, um, my blood pressure, my temp, and I've recorded all of that in my um my logbook on the treatment sheet. Now I'm just waiting. For everything to soak and be done and in a couple of more seconds it'll be time to take the catheter out i hope the tv isn't too loud in the background i don't know if you can see but this is my solution bag right here sitting on top of the scale and then on the sides I can hang more solution bags okay that looks like a better view you don't really see me but you don't really need to see me so that's okay and it is time to take the catheter out give it one more good 
strength. <sighs> and I am ready to move my cart and I put my catheter in into the organizer. You see where I had my organizer um where it disconnected earlier. So use a septic technique to connect blue line to yourself. So Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Well, look, now that your case is. The blue pad definitely comes in handy from you spilling stuff all over Easy everywhere. All right, trash. Open blue line clamp, patient line, blue line clamp, same difference. Catheter clamp, open, next to continue. And now I am doing a drain. As you can tell, it says UF and it tells you how much is drained. It's expected to get off 1501, but usually I do way more than that. And once it does the initial 1501, the little green will fill this line. And what's over the line is what is taken off extra. So, just wait for that. And of course now, since I'm already connected or whatnot, I can take this out of the organizer. Oh, by the way, my vents are closed. Doors closed and locked so nobody can walk in on me. Uh, drain line is connected to the toilet because as you can see over there, that door open, that's my bathroom. So my drain line goes directly into my bathroom. Never mind the scars. These are from where I had my catheter, my other catheter. Um, but this catheter looks pretty decent. I have it covered up right now. You can see where the tape had ripped my skin. The belly's a little bit distended, and that's my PE belt. Uh, so, just waiting. My um my drains usually take anywhere from ten to fifteen minutes, no longer than that. And that's that. So um next video will be a little bit later on tonight. So I will see you then. Bye. Let's see how to stop this. It'd be nice if I knew how to stop this, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay.